Welcome back, my friend. Welcome to the State Shifters Podcast. This is Jordan Canlish. Great to have you with me. In this episode today, I really dove deep with someone who shares a similar passion to mine, which is which is health and wellness. What most people don't realize is that health is really about your internal environment, but also your external environment. And I've been really exploring ways in which how I can optimize my energy. And one of the biggest factors that are influencing our energy, because if you don't know already, we are electromagnetic beings, right? Our body is almost like a battery. And when we go to sleep at night, it's like the ultimate recharge of the battery. And throughout the day, we're expending energy on different things. But without us really knowing or realizing, there are different factors at play, right? Different environmental factors that are zapping our energy, impacting the quality of our cells' ability to produce energy. One of those factors, the major factors right now, is EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies. And there are obviously healthy EMFs, right, that are operating, EMFs that we get from the Earth, the Schumann resonance, which these frequencies have a measurable wavelength. And we're going to learn more about this today. But the unhealthy frequencies are now coming from devices, technology, man-made technologies such as 5G signals, phones, computers that are beaming out an unhealthy range of EMF that is actually creating a lot of harm and dysfunction within the body. So I've been learning more about this, you know, over the last four or five years, working at a healing and frequency studio when I moved to Toronto. And as I understand this stuff on a deeper level, I'm noticing the importance of being a very selective as to the environment you expose yourself to. And today's guest, Justin Franson, is an expert at understanding on how to work with the body's natural frequency, but also harmonizing and nullifying some of the toxic EMFs that are coming from our devices. So this interview is quite wide ranging, but we go deep into you know, how to support your environment in optimizing your health and your energy. And he's come up with these amazing products, these, these EMF products that support you in removing these toxic frequencies from your devices and from your home. And I'm so excited to share this interview with you guys. And there's a special discount set up for State Shifters listeners. If at the end of this podcast, you go, damn, I need to get a hold of some of these products, just like I was. If you use the code State Shifters at checkout, you'll get a special discount to some of the products mentioned. And of course, if you enjoy today's episode, please share it with a friend. I really want this information to get out to the world. More people need to know about this information we're talking about today more people didn't know about it. So please share it. Drop me a DM, send me a message on Instagram if you got value from our conversation today or share it on social media. I uh, would love to hear from you. Without further ado, enjoy the episode with Justin Franson. Welcome to the State Shifters Podcast, a show dedicated to helping you discover your true potential through connecting the mind, body, and soul. All right, Justin Franson, welcome to the State Shifted Podcast, my friend. I'm so excited to have you on here. How are you feeling today? Oh, so good, Jordan. Thanks for having me on, buddy. It's a pleasure. Uh, We're calling in from different ends of the globe, and uh, you're in sunny California. I'm in sunny Perth, you know, both on the west coast of our our countries. Uh, But my friend, I'm really... Uh, like I said, uh, offline, intrigued to learn more about uh, everything that you're doing in the world. And I actually felt a resonance when, when, I, when I learned about it, uh, a, a resonance with what you're, what you're putting out to the world is really needed right now. Um, but if you could give listeners a, a, just a brief background around what it is that you do, uh, your purpose and mission in life right now, um, because it's super interesting and people are, are going to be really, really intrigued by it too. Yeah, thanks, Jordan. I'm an athleticism performance coach. Athleticism.com is where most people found me over the last couple decades working with amateur and professional athletes doing sensory and motor nerve work for sports performance. I treat concussions. I do some wild stuff with the body and facilitating healing and allowing the athletes to become the best they can be. And so my passion really purpose is to create this awareness of how the body's connected and we're one with the universe and how there's some invisible stressors out there and we want to really watch out for those. So 
I looked to find those, Jordan, and, and what I found was electromagnetic fields from man-made electronics, you know, all the wireless devices uh, were the biggest stressor that hadn't been addressed. And so it brought me to the world of, you know, electromagnetic fields and frequencies. So EMF is, is now where we're focused and I'm sure will be a big part of our discussion today. Oh yeah, most definitely. And I've been aware of this for, you know, probably the last four, four to five years. Um, in a past life, I used to be an accountant. So I studied finance and accounting, worked as an accountant for a couple of years. And when I left that job, I moved out to, to Canada and lived and worked in Toronto for a while. And one of the first jobs I had after my accounting job was at a healing studio that worked with PEMF, which is pulse electromagnetic field therapy. And that's where I got to learn a lot more about the, the healthy range of frequency that we have access to. But then that unhealthy range that the EMFs Think, you know, from our devices, then disrupt the harmonic, you know, frequency of our bodies and our cells and our organs and their ability to to be in coherence. So I'm so, you know, I'm so all in on this, and and I'm excited to to hear your take on it. But maybe can you tell me how you got to this point of wanting to dive a little bit deeper into the frequency and the energy of, you know, how we're interacting because we are electromagnetic beings, right? What what pulled you into this path from, you know, being an athletic coach and being into fitness well i saw our athletes break down from wearable technology driving teslas having earbuds mm. and they're just getting injuries for no reason from a lot of those you know wearable challenges and so we look to the invisible stressor you clear the stressor they get better so <laughs> like 101 on helping someone so i looked mm. into that but as far as the science wise like the difference between us and and the man-made stuff, it's really simple to quantify. I dummy down into layman's terms, which is waves per second. So when we're sleeping, Jordan, our brainwave state is one or below one to eight hertz or waves per second. The Schumann resonance of the earth, the healing pulse of the earth, 7.83 hertz or waves per second. The cell phone, where did I hide it? I have it in my Faraday bag somewhere. Here it is. Uh, cell phone. I always hide it in here. Love it. It's uh, 2.45 billion waves per second. I have an older phone. Get out. So the new ones, the 5G, 5G is 60 to 90 billion waves per second. And remember, man-made waveforms are one directional. The universe and us, we do really well with scalar waves, waves that distribute equally in every direction, mm. waveforms that are unpolarized. And when you get a one directional wave that's 10 zeros faster than how we sleep, rev, and optimize, it's a big invisible stressor on the body. Damn. Holy crap. That is, yeah, that, that's really uh, quite alarming. And I knew it was bad. I knew the, the disruption of these toxic EMFs were, were, were damaging. But when you put it like that it, as a number, it's, it's quite you know, profound to think that we aren't really going to see the downstream effects of this until the next five to 10 years when we are carrying around these, like, you know, these devices in our pocket for that duration of time and the impact that's having on you know, our body's ability to function ha harmoniously. Like, is, is this something that you see, you know, hey, like in 10 years time or 50 years time, we're going to look back and think how the hell, like what a, what an absolute disaster to, to have this, this toxicity in our, in our, in and around our field. Is this something that you, you, you see happening? Yo, most definitely. I, and a lot of scientists are coming out speaking about it. There's, there's several thousand studies on bioinitiative.org that talk about the challenges, fertility challenges, especially at the levels we're seeing now for the next several generations. You're, you're going to see a lot of infertility. I mean, look, you're, you're a numbers guy. When you add 10 zeros to anyone's bank account, that's a big difference. So when you add 10 zeros to a speed of a waveform, that's a polarized charge completely opposite and different than how we were up. You know, it's, it's going to pay its toll, you know, now and forward for sure. Big time, big time. Yeah. And then, 
you just think about the 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 collective EMF that if you live in a city and you've got these 5G towers humming out this this high range frequency that it doesn't even matter if you have a phone in your pocket or not you are in that you know that 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 kind of field you 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 are absorbing that frequency and uh I'm curious to know with with the athletes that you worked with like uh what started to happen like you were seeing them like break down physically or or, or what what was going on that caused you to raise the well, red flag I- Guys would be like, hey, I played pickleball on the weekend and, and uh, you know, I pulled this or pulled that. And I'm going, you guys shouldn't be hurting anything doing something, you know, like that, you know, compared to how dynamic they play in their sport. So a lot of what I've seen, too, just uh, from being a spectator. And now I don't watch TV anymore because I don't buy into the media and what they're projecting. But what... I had seen in the past is so many cognitive mistakes, just unforced errors. You see athletes that can do this stuff all day, making mistakes that they would never make. And, you know, but in in clinical practice, guys wearing smartwatches, like the most physically fit endurance guys, their whole arm would go weak from wearing a smartwatch. So it's radiation directly on your skin. That's not a great recipe for Mm. health. Mm, For sure. Um, obviously the, the obvious example of this is, is phones and laptops and TVs and, and the, these devices that are like projecting out like a Wi-Fi signal and a 5g signal. But what about, you know, the wearables that are, you know, Bluetooth frequencies, are, are there different ranges of frequencies that can be more or less harmful? Well, Bluetooth's less harmful. Your the frequency in your clicker for your if your remote control for turning your car alarm on and off like not as significant for our body over a period of time they're you know lower levels bluetooth is a little it's a mid-range so that's a little more yeah you you don't want it all the time but i think when we get into these these millimeter waves any spectrum of the millimeter waves and even dirty electricity so let me back up a little bit the waves are measured in waves, wavelengths are measured in waves per second, the wavelengths per second. Mm. So a milligoss, just electricity in your home is, is like 50 to 60 waves per second. So it's a smaller, a little you know, a slower wave range. Then when you get into dirty electricity, it, it's looking a lot faster, 4,000 to 100,000 waves per second. Then you go into the, the wireless and you're going into the millions to billions of waves per second. So again, we're sleeping and optimizing in the one to eight. We're when we're in the flow state, and we're what's your sport? What do you like to do? Uh, soccer, round ball. Okay, so round ball soccer. Mm. Now, when you're just in the flow, that's a, a brainwave state of eight to twelve hertz or waves per second. So that's an that's an that's an alpha state. So. When we're in these different brainwave states, like it's so it's so far off from the others. Right, interesting. And, and you said that obviously the Schumann resin at the seven point eight three hertz. Right. What, what waveform was that? What what state? What wave? Well, that that is the speed of it, seven yeah. seconds. So gotcha. Gotcha. A, a theta is is basically what four to eight waves per second, right. and a delta <clears throat> delta is the really deep sleep is yeah. one or below one to four waves per second in that brainwave state when we're sleeping and then a a beta would be when you're more awake type of gotcha gotcha okay okay and 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 this is that coherent state that when you're in flow when you're in the zone your brain coherence hits this like harmonic uh waveform right where where, we're kind of like out of out of the way and we're allowing our body to express itself freely and then what these harmful emfs are doing are disrupting the coherence of the body would that be a, a good way of putting it well said yeah okay so then it comes back to okay if we are in an environment where we are exposed to these these harmful emfs which is probably the majority like i, I think i'm sitting here now i think like i got my phone here i wear these bluetooth headphones um you know there's so many things that are disrupting the the, the field of the body but then we have ways to bring the body back into coherence whether that be through our meditative practices or getting out in nature walking along the beach and things like that but this is where 
your company and your products have also you've also found other ways to reduce the effects of of, of EMF, EMFs. Is that right? And are you able to kind of tell us a little yeah. bit more about that? Yeah, definitely, Jordan. So the cool thing is, is yeah, we're we're using this technology and and it's rolled out. Unfortunately, the the, the communication commissions like the FCC and our and they don't care about our health, but we got this great bandwidth. We can have these chats from across the world. Like, there's so much good. This technology is not going away, and it's only going to get stronger and more prolific. So what we've looked to is how do you convert a waveform so that it's acceptable to the body? We can't block this stuff. We can't hide and sleep in a tent, live in a you know Faraday like ironclad cage where there's zero frequencies going in and out. We want to coexist with this stuff. So the way to do it is to get grounded by nature. It's really simple. Get out and get barefoot. Go to the park. Lay down. Have a picnic. You know, touch a tree. Hug a tree. Go surfing. Go in the ocean. Like get your body in a body of water that is natural, and you're gonna pull the electrons from the negative ionic charge of that area. So our body acts like a body battery. We have this negative ionic charge coming from below, and we have a positive ionic charge coming from above from the sun. So when there's phased array, like one directional wave laser beams coming from satellites, you know, that takes away from the sunlight that's giving us that positive charge in, in, a, in an unpolarized waveform. And then when we're wearing shoes and then we have EMFs all around us, we're chipping away at our life force because we're not getting grounded. And Dr. Mercola wrote a great book. He titled it, You're EMF'd. So basically... <laughs> We're EMF'd when we're not getting our body battery recharged. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the best way to do it is to go out and, and allow nature to, to do what she does best and just get grounded. And so, yeah, we have grounding bags where we, you know, we hand mine these crystals and we deploy it in a bag. And it's literally just like walking barefoot in a bag. Wow. So, so the grounding bag is something you will put your device in that kind of nullifies the the harmful effect of the, the EMS? No, that would be a Faraday bag. Right. <clears throat> so that's separate. That would be something like this, a Faraday bag, where you put your phone in it, or I have a s smaller one too. So you put your phone in it, and it protects you from your phone. And uh, it, and for those, it, that, for those that are listening, you're just holding it. It's like, it looks like a, a Ziploc, cellof like a cellophane kind of bag. Is it, what, What's it made yeah. out of? Aluminum, yeah. So aluminum, right. it's a seven milliliter aluminum static bag. Right. So nothing fancy, <clears throat> really inexpensive way. But if I were to hold a radio frequency meter up to this phone uh, without it in here, the meter would meter out, start screaming. There's no meter to meter the levels of just your normal cell phone. Mm. So <laughs> pretty daunting to understand that, like, they're rolling out 5G on towers, and we have no idea what speed that is. But yeah. if I took the phone out of here, so if I took the phone out, I meter the meter screams. When I put the phone in here like it is, and I seal it, it quiets down the meter to safe levels. Gotcha. So frequencies yeah. do go in and out of this, but it's safe, you know, from bioinitiative.org standards. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. And the grounding bag that you just held up before, what, what's the difference there? That's, that's like earthing that it's creating a harmonic, uh, you know, grounding frequency, or is that converted? Right. What's, what's happening there? Right. So the Faraday bags are meant to be more of a blocking esque apparatus where they're converting, you know, where they're just quieting that noise down, dampering it. And then if you double up on it, your location won't show up on the map with older phones. The phone definitely won't ring. And to uh, the newer phones, your location will be delayed about 10 minutes at least. Mm. So those are more the blocking products, repelling products. But our grounding bags are hand mined crystals. And these are, it's like walking bare from the back. This is the Schumann resonance, that healing pulse of the earth that converts the waveform so we can coexist with the stuff. So if you literally want to keep your router on at night, I mean, yeah. I would just say, hey, 
go get a timer for nine bucks or whatever at the store and convert it, you know, again, have it, all the electricity turn off in your room, especially the router. Uh, if you still want it on and you still have your cell phone on all night, this will convert those waveforms so that they're not being disruptive for your health. Wow. Damn. Okay. And, and how did you, how were you able to figure this stuff out? What, 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 you know, what was the journey that you took to come to this level of understanding to be like, okay, if we put these devices in, in and around these crystalline structures, it's going to convert the, the waveform. Was there a well, lot of experimenting? Well, first off, I had a huge sensitivity to it. So right. I did an internship in a real estate office in college, and I was literally living off of a, of a, of a, a um, copy machine. So I'd be, have to copy papers all day long for people. So I got developed a sensitivity from all the radiation from pulling papers hot off, you know, the the copy mm. machine. And so, and then I even speaking on a, a corded phone, I could feel that vibration, low level radiation. I still felt. I wore a watch. I, anyone knows me, I always wore a watch. But that battery, man, I always felt like a little aching. But I'm like, this is my watch, and I, I just kept wearing it. But I always had a sensitivity to it. So when the cell phone started rolling out, I'm like, God, I, I intuitively, I was like, whoa, mm -hmm. I'm not going down this rabbit hole right now. This thing is, it's it's so different. It's, it's close to my brain. I don't want to deal with that. So I knew that. And then once I started researching and seeing the athletes break down, I started researching this topic, becoming proficient at it, getting meters measuring going into homes and metering homes got you know a certification and like learning all i could on this stuff i developed a reputation in, in my area of you know finding these invisible waveforms because i'd help so many families and there a doctor approached me that was using the crystals in his protocol in, in a similar fashion and so he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm like, what are you doing? And it turned out his was uh, end up being better than my old protocols. So uh, I, I asked if I could get access to everything. And he said, yeah, I'm, I'm slowing down. I'm done. Uh, you know, run with it. And so here we are. You, I, I, I found it through a doctor really having amazing results in his clinic. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this and this is so important that we are able to get this level, this information out there because a lot of the times, you know, people are getting sick and, and not realizing that it's the environment that is disrupting the body. And, you know, if you're not, you know, creating a harmonious environment, then you can, you know, you're slowly getting getting eaten by these these, you know, these frequencies. Um the what are some of the main benefits that you've seen happen when someone starts to be a little bit more conscious around where they expose themselves to when it comes to yeah, toxic frequencies? Your, well, first off, your sleep will improve. So when you get rid of that and then you know, melatonin production you know, occurs and all your hormones are start to balance, your pineal gland really starts to reset. You, your body gets that nourishment and the recharge that it needs to, and it's supposed to get when it's sleeping. So I think sleep and, and the, all the benefits that go behind a good night's sleep are what you see. A lot of people also talk about cognitive stuff, brain fog. So the first challenges would be focus, memory, behavior, anxiety, fatigue, stress, uh, uh, headaches. So a lot are all cognitive challenges. So when you can clear this invisible stressor, your your cognitive functioning starts to become way, way more efficient. So I think, and that's decision making and, and not lashing out at fellow workers or family, you know, all those things will start to start to uh, show. And and ideally, obviously, I think energy is a big, big part of it. Uh, so you'll have more energy, won't have that fatigue in, in the afternoon. Fertility is a big part. Uh, you'll, you'll not as likely to have the, the fertility challenges. I think when we've seen patients or client, I don't see patients, I see clients with Lyme disease, 
uh, mold and microtoxins, parasites are all charged by electromagnetic fields, like man-made stuff. Mm. Dr. Klinghart shares that. So when you can convert a waveform, people that have those challenges, they'll start to heal better. And, and I think the biggest thing with, with, with EMF is the eyes, the teeth, your thymus, which is your upper chest, lower neck, and then your small intestine below your belly button are the four areas that get decharged by man-made EMF. So when you lose your charge and if you wake up in the morning, you're not on your energy, there's something wrong with your system. So it could be one of those four that were decharged. So we can use the grounding bags. You can tap on it, cover your eyes, your teeth, your thymus or your stomach, and and then that will direct the properties in the grounding bag to that area to give you more energy. So it would be like a, a, an amazing treatment that the earth would give you, but you could do it at home with a grounding bag. Interesting. Interesting. Wow. This is, this is so important. Uh, and I mean, you know, combining this, you know, I'd call it like technology. It's, it's a, it's a, you know, it's probably an ancient technology through harnessing the, the, the grounding of the earth. Hey, Justin, have you heard of uh, biogeometry by chance? Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so, so I've got – I use the biogeometry pendant and I've got the the sticker on the back of my phone. And, you know, for those who don't know what biogeometry is, it's it's more about using the, the physics of shape and form and structure to create the grounding or centering qualities from the earth and the, and the sacred power spots of the earth. How does this, like, interact and, and how does this work with, say, something like biogeometry, which is sort of creating a similar – effect right a similar outcome that centering quality it really is i I feel it's just a different language so it's like do you call it your life force or your chi or your prana (laughs) or your energy like what do you call it i think when we're talking about uh biogeometry a lot of times we're talking about in addition to what you shared the earth has different meridians they have their own meridians like just like our body does and if some meridians cross and there's there's a different field that's emitted, so if there's a running water area going underneath there, above that area could be some some friction in that in that area. And then there could be power center or vortexes. So net net at the end of the day, our grounding bags will transmute you know, a waveform just like you know the shapes and, and those pendants and and creating a sphere or, 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 or doing actual biogeometry on your home. And I had, we ju- I just bought a new home and we ha- I have a, a friend that does a lot of biogeometry. So I had him come in and clear our house with biogeometry. And then in addition, we've loaded it up with grounding back. So he's like, okay, there's a current running this way. And I'm like, okay, boom, there go the grounding bags. And then we we put one of those spheres in the ground in a, in a vortex to clear it. You know, I had done even beyond that too. I went in and this is really cool for the guys that are want to go a little deeper. <laughs> I did earthing rods, but only two of them. And I connected both of them and they have to be at least six feet apart or more. And, and uh, I found a vortex for one, which was a power center and if through biogeometry and I gridded it to the other one and I lined them all through every hot water, cold water, every line, and then all the way up to the main. So wow. when you can ground out your house and do it that way versus multiple, I thought I needed a lot of rod earthing rods, but that can cause a current a, that will, that will be dirty electricity for you. Awesome. So, yeah, I, so I've done the transmuting from the biogeometry and then uh, I had him test the grounding bag. So he would do, you know, their, their, their pendulums and things and test the, the vortexes. And, and uh, we'll go over a, a cell phone and it'll go the wrong way, counterclockwise. And then we put the grounding bag over the cell phone and it goes clockwise. Wow. So the grounding bags definitely, and, and I, we did multiple tests with them, but for biogeometry, they transmute uh just uh, or convert a waveform to something that's one directional or there's static in it to something that flows just as well as biogeometry. Uh, And and so it's a lot of fun. 
Amazing. Oh man, this is uh yeah, it's getting me really excited because I did I did the full biogeometry on, on on I'm in an apartment right now temporarily, not ideally. Uh this will be the last time I live in an apartment complex purely because you know, I can sense the, you know, you've got multiple different Wi-Fi routers blasting out the Wi-Fi frequency in, in the in the building. So you're getting hit by multiple of these 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 fields. You jump in an apartment, it's like being in a in a, in a hot box of frequent of EMFs, right? So straight away, I'm like, how how am I going to, you know, protect my you know the the energy in this in this room, this home that I'm in? And biotrometry is something that I've been into for for a little while now, and you know, bringing in something like this, I feel like it's going to be really helpful to to add to this, you know, harm. And ideally, you want to get the energy as close to being out in the bush or in nature as you can, right? That you know, s- separation from all these, these, you know, the artificial, um, frequencies it, do you have, you know, if someone's living in an apartment, someone's living in a city, uh, you know, what, what's your suggestion here? Where, where do they start to maybe bring a little bit more awareness and into this element yeah. of their, their health? Yeah. So what I found Jordan is biogeometry can be a little far out for a lot of people because they're using pendulums and different sure. things. And, then, and, and quite honestly, you don't know when it doesn't work. You know, when, when does it get overrun or something happens, mm-hmm. a shift happens? And it could be from a cosmic shift in the atmosphere that changes it. Like we don't know. But what we found is that a similar, like, like a man made device. And I, I, I love biogeometry. So I, I don't want to deter anyone from doing it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, what I, what I, would deter someone from is getting a man-made device to try and keep up with man-made signals because that's a futile effort in in my opinion so what we did is we looked to the earth to do it and we know when this doesn't work anymore because this approximate one pound bag of crystals when the rocks dry out and they lose their magnetic properties and turn to dust that's when you need to buy another bag of rocks that we know that's when they won't work anymore. And then you sprinkle the minerals in your garden and you have the most mineral dense garden. And that should be anywhere from two years to a decade or more. Like these things will last a really long time, but when you feel them and I I mean, when they don't have that solid rock feeling anymore, we know that their times expired, but with some of these others, you don't. So especially with the man-made devices, like it's a huge knock against them. Big time, big time. And, yeah. and if something has copper in it too. So these organite, you know, pyramids and and products with, with crystal with with excuse me, crystals with copper in it, when the crystals get overrun, the copper ends up imprinting the bat. Like we don't have copper in our products because we don't want that 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 imprint of conducting the bat and, and broadcasting the bat once the crystals and stones get overrun. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you will know when the, when the crystal is, is complete and it's not as effective anymore. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so, so you would suggest someone starting with one of the, the bags, the grounding bags, if they're in a, in a home or, you know, an environment where they know that frequency is, is unhealthy. Yeah. One run grounding bag, use it as is, put it on or under your bed at the head of the bed, literally put it right above your head. You won't bump really? it. You will Cool. Sleep better than ever. If it's under, make sure it's leaning against the leg of the bed. Like one grounding bag will change your whole life. And then as you're like, wow, this is like a significant difference, then start adding more. Then five together will clear 2,000 square feet. And then if you want to transmute even more, line them up down the spine of your back underneath on the floor. You know, I, I mean, really start, you know, then you'll start to geek out on the stuff and like, go into the levels that that, uh, the research that that both of us have done and you'll start really feeling it but i mean this this man-made ems stuff ages you quicker than ever so Mm. you're way younger than me so believe me man you want (laughs) to take advantage of it when you're younger you know the, the the everyone who's younger listening check your ego at the door and start taking care of yourself now so that when you're 50, <laughs> you don't feel you know as crappy as a lot of other people will. Yeah, man, I'm absolutely loving this. That this this information is just so so resonant in resonance with with my being because uh, just recently I did a 
I got my blood testing done. I, I did a gut test and a blood test. And some of the results that came back was, you know, some of my cellular health wasn't as high as I would have liked it to be. You know, cellular stress, you know, the cellular cellular metabolism and what the cells are, is the mitochondria, right? The, the powerhouses of where energy is being produced. And I looked at, I was like, man, my, my cell, my cells are not that strong. Like what's going on here? Um, and I deduced it to, you know, different factors in my environment that are probably having an impact that I'm not even aware of. Uh, so like I've shifted into taking certain supplements to support like coenzyme Q10, PQQ, Reservatrol, all these supplements to now help build cellular strength. But instead of adding all these um, uh, addition is great for building internal strength, but it's more like, what can you take away? That's actually impacting the the health of your cells. And, and this was like the, the light bulb for me, which is the, the, the free, the EMFs in the environment. This is one of the biggest impacts on our aging. Like you said, because it is affecting us at a cellular level, you know, the, the mitochondria. Definitely. Yeah. So, so I'll give you a long answer here. Dr. Martin Paul from Washington state university discovered that excess calcium is let in. So the voltage gated calcium channels open up and the EMF causes them to let positive calcium into a negative cell. And that in turn causes the cell and DNA damage that we're talking about. So EMF is directly correlated to what you're experiencing. The other part, there's two parts to it. One, the jab that that is going around, you know, or at least the governments are pushing, uh, the doctors that I'm working with are showing their patients are having 20% lower testosterone mm. once they get mm. that. Now, the second part of this Jordan is crazy. Guys driving electric cars, 18% lower testosterone. So if you oh, take a healthy guy, 1,000 to 1,200 like testosterone levels, and they got a shot and they drive an electric car, they're dropping down to 600, which is a really unhealthy testosterone level, which opens up prostate, bone challenges, you know, cardiovascular, like the list goes on and on as far as what systems end up breaking down when your testosterone isn't working. I, I take these cell salts. So this, this is really good uh, bioplasma yeah. cell yeah. salts. So you want to get these, these cells that to start to conduct and, and start to transmit. So the more minerals you can get, the better, uh, and then definitely eliminate the stressor, but some t and the way we do that is is having awareness of the protocols with with the phones and everything. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is awareness of our body and getting toxicity out. So we are getting chemtrail, you know, crop dusted all the time. You know, a lot of us have had shots, and you know whether we knew or not knew. Uh, you know, a lot of us you know have heavy metal passed down from our parents. So get your bucket empty if it's full mm -hmm. of crap that's when people are going to spin out more than not so always your body's is so resilient it's meant to flush and flush and heal and flush and flush and flush and perform and adapt so when you can clear that bucket down to minimal levels of toxicity mm -hmm. you, you're you have some room to to grow and fill it up so uh yeah do a lot of detox methylation stuff heavy metal, you know, chelators or, you know, bentonite clay or yeah. uh, white mom merlinite's really good, uh, but uh, even better than bentonite. But a methylfolate, anything with methylation that helps you flush your system out is going to be one of the, the best things you can do. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that because this is, this is the kind of stuff that's going on behind the scenes in our body that most people are not aware of, but it's just the accumulation. It's an accumulation of gunk, heavy metals, you know, toxic, you know, parasites, things in our soil, things in our air. Like that's just, it's, it's all around. Um, what, what have you found to be the most effective way of just like the flushing or just taking all these things out of this, this bucket, right? You know, the, the, the detoxing or the clearing of, of all these harmful toxins. You know, you, obviously, you got your infrared saunas. You've got the fasting. You've got the supplements. You know, the, the 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 methylation. What have you found to be the most effective way, or where's a good place to start if someone wants to just do this clearing? Yeah, great question. So, 
What I do, Jordan, is we actually first use our grounding bag to clear your biofield. Gotcha. So Bruce Lipton talks about your health lying in your energy field, your chi. Your chemistry, your body is secondary. So mm. if we can clear our biofield through getting grounded by nature, and if you can't get outside, use a grounding bag and tap on it. And recharge your eyes, teeth, thymus, and stomach, or just tap on the bag. This tapping on the bag, the, the moisture content, it acts like a homeopathic tincture. It ignites the properties of the stone, and it starts to clear your energy, your biofield all around you. So the first is to clear the biofield. As far as internal stuff, now I'm not a nutritionist, but what I've used in the past is I use white mot white montmorillonite, which is fantastic, but get a pure form. And we should be selling some, I'm looking to sell it on our website because you know we have access to it through our minds, but uh, on athleticism.com. But white montmorillonite, a bentonite clay would be a secondary thing. White montmorillonite is like 85% pure, bentonite's 30% pure. So that's why I defer to that one. Uh, you can get a good uh, heavy metal chelator or binder with it, some type of binder. You can do apple cider vinegar and a protease, which is a proteolytic enzyme. Yeah. Uh, any natural chelator like cracked chlorella would be also fantastic. So those are the really great things to, to help the body flush the toxicity. I think foot baths are fantastic. Obviously sweating, getting your pathways open. You want to sweat every day, mm. like every day. And don't stop when you're in your 30s to your 40s and you have a kid and, you know, like sweat. Just make sure you're sweating and get these, keep these pathways open up for you. Uh, breath work is probably one of the biggest and do your breath work, do your praying, your meditation, your qigong, like all your movement breathing. Shaolin monks, I asked one of them at one time, I, I said, hey, are you worried about all these cell towers? He's like, they don't even bother us. Their resonance, their energy field is so strong because all they do is breath work all day. Nice. Now we don't have that luxury, but to know that they can just intuitively convert a waveform already just from their frequency being so healthy and strong we got to get back to our breath and really understand the power of breathing and controlling your breath and and moving energy through your breath so those are a lot of ways that that i think people will resonate with big time yeah thank you for sharing that and it's almost like you know when you have this awareness and you have access to tools like the bags and the and then the biogeometry and you know and then the, the internal tools and then you know throwing the saunas throwing the supplements like we can start to now you know manage and optimize ourselves to you know navigate these next five ten years as these frequency surely we're going to hit a point where you know they're going to realize uh that we're frying ourselves we can't go, you know, 6G, 7G, like there's going to hit a point surely where, you know, we, we, we start killing ourselves with these frequencies. Uh, have you thought into that? And, you know, what, what, what kind of decisions are you making now around like where you live or, you know, how you're going to navigate as things get worse? Uh, yeah. What, what's your take on that? Oh, well, let me back that up a little bit, Jordan. <laughs> This is a loaded question, probably the <laughs> biggest loaded question you asked. And the challenge is there's a book. Well, let me share a book with you guys that everyone want everyone to share and get. It's called The Invisible Rainbow by mm. Arthur Furstenberg. Cool. Cellphonetaskforce.org is his website. He is probably one of the most extensive researchers that we could find in the EMF space in addition to a lot of the scientists that have been doing it. But this guy wrote a book that categorizes the history of electricity and life and how they've coexisted. Well, he ends up timing and in, in what he found in his resource, resources were and research was that every major pandemic was directly correlated 
with a shift in our electromagnetic blanket of an atmosphere, whether it was cosmic, cosmic shift in the Mm. atmosphere or man-made. So anything before the 1900s, especially 1918, the Spanish flu, that was our first time we rolled out radio waves on on a scale worldwide. And so people adapt. So a virus is a dead protein that we produce ourselves. It's our adaptive system. So we are adapting. We're doing this flushing already. Then World War II, they did it with introducing radar on a, on a huge scale. And then the Hong Kong flu, they introduced satellites in the Van Allen belt, which is a protective layer in our atmosphere. So, and now the 5G rollout. And we the last two years, we've seen people adapting to it. Nothing to be afraid of, you know, uh, as far as long term, our bodies do have this innate adaptation process. What I do want to caution people is when you have something this close, mm. if, you're, if you're not a Shaolin monk and you can't convert that waveform, like that localized radiation will more than likely have the potential to cause some acoustic nerve challenges, you know, potential breakdown of your cells and DNA and then go into the bigs, uh, you know, the, of the cancers and the suicides and the diabetes and Alzheimer's and the cardiovascular and the lack of fertility that we, you know, that we know to be true. So definitely, I think right now I've positioned us as having a proximity awareness So understanding what's going on is a huge thing. So you don't fear anything. We just know that our bodies are just adapting. So get rid of the mask. Drugs aren't health. Like, okay, let's get down to the basics here, everybody. (laughs) Smile, breathe, love, touch, then sweat, build up your health, eat clean food, stop taking, you know, buying glyphosate and spraying it on crops, all that stuff. So let's uh, get that awareness. Now we go to the healthy home awareness. Routers on timers, phones on airplane mode, convert a smart meter to analog, hardwire your computers, like start to develop some awareness. And if there is a cell tower out your window, get some EMF paint and blocking and tint and and then curtains on that wall that that waveform would be coming directly at you. And then convert the waveforms that go around it with the grounding bags and make sure you're doing your homework of getting grounded outside in addition to using the grounding bag. So develop proximity awareness, get rid of the earbuds, get rid of the wearable technology, stop driving the Teslas (laughs) and the electric cars. They're not an enhancer for your body. You're sitting on a big ass battery. That's not a great recipe. That's dirty electricity that causes sparking. Again, 18% 18% lower testosterone in women too and men. So let's get that. And solar, solar is the other one that is a big thing. It's a battery trying to give you the level of electricity that you're requesting with panels on your roof above your bed. Lots of vibration that will be in the dirty electricity wave length speed. You can get a Stetzer electric meter, S-T-E-T-Z-E-R, electric.com. Those meters, you plug in the wall. If it's 50 or below, you're good. Anything with the new LED lights in these homes, they have transformers in those lights, will kick off a lot of dirty electricity in addition to everything else I mentioned. And if there's a transformer near your home, front yard, backyard, get that thing either upgraded Check the lines going in and out of it. Make sure a rat didn't eat one of the lines. Because remember, these are one directional waves. So the signals going into it need to meet Mm. the signals going out of it. Mm. So you can make these homes a healthier home, but make sure you have a lot of greens and a lot of opportunities to get grounded throughout the day. You know, like I do going surfing. Yeah. Justin, thank you so much for sharing all this. Like I'm sure for people listening and, you know, even for myself, just to hear all of these practical and even the awareness that we now have around how to be a a lot more conscious with uh, the energy that we surround our bodies in. Like if we implement, if listeners implement this stuff, this is the foundation of good health, you know, because we look at health as, health has different facets, but 
the main one being the internal environment, but also the external environment. And if you, you can't take care of one without the other, because then you're just going to keep coming up against the same challenges, the same problems. So in this, in this conversation, you've given so many practical applications for how to take care of internal environment and external environment. So man, I'm, I'm, I've, really enjoyed this conversation i'm just you know, i'm excited to also take this information now and and apply it in, in my life and and use it because health is wealth man as you know like you know if you don't have your health you've got nothing and and energy keeping our vibration as high as we can especially in the world right now is is what is going to allow us to be of maximum service and of value to our communities and to our families so this has been one of the yeah the, one of my favorite podcasts that I've that I've had. So, uh, thank you again. And um, when can people learn more about what you're up to? Uh, you're probably doing the rounds, doing lots of interviews like this. Uh, you know, we need to get this out there. Um, but where can they find you? Where can they connect with you? And where can they get access to some of these products? Yeah. Well, first off, thank you so much, Jordan, for having me on. I appreciate more than you know your awareness and your voice and the gifts that you bring to the world. So thank you. Uh, yeah, we, I can be found on emfrocks.com, athleticism.com. We have all these curated other health and performance products for soil enhancers or MCT oils to help you lose weight or you know, jump bands to help you jump, you know, work on your plyometrics. So uh, the book, my book that I wrote on there kind of goes over everything but uh so that's where you guys can find me and and we're gonna make sure you get some of these grounding bags going in in your world too so look out for a care package hell yes baby and uh i'll be sharing that with the community and, and i'm sure maybe we can have a conversation offline about maybe a special discount we can tee up for state shifters listeners um so they can start to get get their hands on some of these products as well um uh, Thank you again, my friends. Uh, thank you for, for sharing this information and the work that you're doing. And uh, I would say, you know, if you wanted to leave listeners with one last thing before you take off, you know, any final, final departing words that you have? Yeah. Smile and get grounded by nature because it's your nature. Oh, yes. Second that. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate Thanks, you. Sir.